Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with your casual keyboard guy. Um, <clears throat> today's lesson is going to be on a song titled um, Mr. Magic by Grover Washington Jr. Um, dope song, man. I tell you, I used to listen to this song as a kid, man. I, and I um, remember I always wanted to learn how to play it. And, um, and then once I learned it, every band that I was ever in played it. <laughs> so I kind of got... A little bored with it but uh always a standard always a classic song easy like opening song for any type of band like anybody remembers or knows mr magic so um so it's a dope song to have in your uh, repertoire so um this song is being sponsored by my subscriber ruben thank you for the donation my brother and uh, we're gonna look at the chords pertaining to this song today and um y'all know me i'm gonna play through it a little bit then i'm gonna break it down break it down um let's see here Make sure my volume is okay. All right, here we go. sustain off but I mean essentially that's the whole song for the most part okay right, there we go um and I know sometimes when they do that hit they do it like uh they do like a, a certain way they do that hit at the end but basically um you know this song kind of got like a guitar playing a nice little riff like a nice little lick and then the the, the melody comes in um so it's kind of playing without <clears throat> the full band in there um but anyway, I'm gonna teach you the chords. So here we go. First chord is gonna be C minor nine. So you got a C in the bass. You got B flat D, E flat G. Okay. First chord. Um. So essentially, you start off with the piano. Really, they start without the bass. They just go on like uh. They pretty much going like this. This is the. They kind of doing this in the beginning. Um. Without bass. So basically, it's a C minor nine chord essentially, with the bass being added to it. But you're not playing the bass on like the first maybe couple passes, and then you're going from this C minor nine, and then you're going to this this F nine thirteen. So you got an A D E flat and G. Okay, that's the so essentially you're just taking the the B flat and bringing it down to an A and changing your bass to F. Okay, so you're just going okay, just bringing that B flat down to A and changing the bass from C. To F. All right. So like I said, you start off the song without the bass. Same chord. Then you can add the bass. So you can do, you can do that walk if you want. So I'm going on F A. B flat, C flat, and then C. I'm just going so when I, once I get to the A, I'm not skipping any notes to get back to the C. Okay? Real simple. So a little bit through the uh, melody, he holds this one chord. So it's. I'm not really singing the melody like how it goes actually, but um, it comes in quick. <clears throat> so it's. So that chord that you hold. <clears throat> it's gonna be a, a B flat 13 sus. So you got B flat in the bass, you got A flat C, E flat and G in your 
right hand. Okay. And that part, um, like I said, is like like once he comes in with the saxophone line, because what happens is the song is kind of grooving for a while. <clears throat> with the you know you do the chords by itself, then the bass comes in, then the guitar player comes in, and then Grover Washington comes in with the melody. So once he comes in, you kind of start the progression of the song. Okay, so that's that next chord you hear is this chord. <clears throat> okay, B flat thirteen sus gave that B flat A flat C E flat G. Okay, and then you back to the C minor nine. So. Minor, sorry. Now this change. <clears throat> All right, so that next change is gonna be B flat minor nine. Okay. So you got B flat in the bass, A flat C D F. Okay. And then you're gonna kind of do that same thing you did in the C minor nine. Remember we did the drop the the note down, so you got the the A flat to the G, and then the bass is gonna go to E flat. So it's an E flat nine thirteen. Remember we did the C minor nine to the F nine thirteen. So essentially we're doing the same thing a half step down. So we're going from C B to B flat, and then we're doing the same movement. So you got the B minor nine, B flat minor nine to the E flat. 913 okay so that's um uh, just for reference you like it's the same thing so or all right so that's dope so again you got the notes right here a flat c d d flat and f or b flat and then you just drop your thumb down to the g and we get bass to the e flat okay for that chord and then we're going to do <coughs> a flat major nine you got g b flat c e flat with a flat in the bass okay a couple seconds to look at that write that down a flat major nine and then real nice chord f b flat and then this is c flat or also it's gonna also be b same note f b flat c flat and e flat okay with a g and a bass okay give you a couple seconds to hope write that down all right so so watch that rhythm one more time then we back to the top <clears throat> and then they go to the next little change so it's going to be E flat major 9 G, B flat, D, and F. <clears throat> e flat in the bass. E flat major nine. Alright, hold it for a couple seconds. Okay, then we wanna do A flat. Which we already learned, the A flat major nine. Remember this chord we just played? We're gonna do it again, right here. G flat, G, B flat, C, and E flat with A flat in the bass. So <clears throat> Back, repeat E flat major nine back to A flat one more time now instead of going to the A flat we're gonna do this chord which is the uh remember the G seven sharp five sharp nine did I even show you that I think I, I think I skipped over this chord because I know I played it but I don't think I think I missed it sorry about that so you do this chord twice so let me go back <clears throat> so we do I don't think I showed you this chord. So, well, I, I, did I, oh, I did show you this chord. I did. Okay, I did. Show, I just didn't call it, spell it out, or call it the name of it out. But I did show it to you because I remember this. I said the C flat. Okay. So um, <clears throat> that's um. So so basically, you, you essentially you play that chord again, and this is gonna be that chord where they kind of pivot off of the uh like the hits. So they, so I think the first time they just do one hit, something like that. So um, let me so we go from the back to this. Here we go change. that 
hit you. I think you hit it twice. Ba, ba. Okay. And then uh, the next time, pretty much is the same loop again. You know, you start back on. All right, so that next time they kind of do like I think some like some delay hits, but um basically it's just what is it um and then they kind of take solos after that point. So essentially that's the whole song. I mean, like I said, you got the C minor nine, the F nine thirteen, and then eventually you go to this B flat minor nine to the E flat nine thirteen, the eighth major nine, E flat major nine to the G seven, sharp nine sharp five. Um, then you also got don't forget about this chord. You do this this B flat thirteen. That's pretty much the whole song. Um, and then you. on that chord so that's pretty much the whole song guys uh hope you enjoyed this quick lesson shouldn't take you too long a uh, real nice chord real jazzy chords you see that real nice jazzy chords so i hope you enjoyed that lesson guys got your keyboard guy like share subscribe show your boy some love um do you like Grover washington um you know um you got quite a few songs that i could probably do so you know if you guys enjoyed this particular artist let me know Leave, drop some comments and i may do a couple more grover songs but um anyway guys thanks for tuning in and i'm casual keeper guy signing off peace